Yo, what's good, guys? Back again with another episode of Zeta Speaks. I believe this is episode 38. Um, I appreciate all the new subs. I appreciate all the new support. Make sure you go smash that subscribe button. Hit that like bell. And look, man, somebody suggested me this book. So I went and got it. I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. Shout out to you for sending me that book. Shout out to you. Um, but anyways, man, I wanted to just touch base on watching who you hang around, being aware of your environment, um, knowing who serves you and who you serve, drawing the, the line in the sand of specific relationships with specific, with specific types of people, knowing the difference between certain types of friends, certain friend groups. I'm not saying cut everybody off and, and completely move on and act bougie like you don't know them. Like, oh man, I'm on a higher vibration. I can't even talk to you. Because soon that's really how it is. And they'll know because they won't even have the courage to speak to you because you guys are not going to have nothing to talk about. What are we going to talk about? We're not, even on the, we're not even on the same radio station. We're not even tuned in on the same level. Think about that. When you're, when you're dialing in on your frequency, it's like tune into a, a radio station, AM or FM. We're not even on the same station. So it's nothing you could talk about. It's nothing you guys could talk about. You know, and it's just different types of friends. Certain friends, you, you guys are on the same radio station. You guys are tuned in on the same frequency. And you're vibing there. And your vibe attracts your tribe. So you guys can have relative conversations. And the relationships are congruent. They're serving each other. You guys are bouncing energy off of each other. It's not just a, a take, 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 take thing. Where you just give, 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 give. Get nothing in return. Yeah, obviously we're here to serve. We're here to give back, but we obviously got to get fed too. And we're going to have to get something in return as well, as far as how we're vibing and what we're giving off, you know, so to love and to, to, to be loved and to loved is, is one thing that humans want on this planet. But anyways, man, let's get into it. Uh, watch who you hang around. Watch who you hang around. Your vibe attracts your tribe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so what do I mean? Your vibe attracts your tribe. Think about it. If you're vibrating on a certain level and you're doing certain things and you're acting a certain way, you can only go so far as to the people that you're around, the places that you're going to, and the things that you're doing. You're going to be around certain individuals if you're on a specific vibe. Let's say you're vibing low. You're on a lower frequency and you're doing bullshit things. That, that, that are low vibrational. You're going to be hanging out with low vibrational characters. And a lot of those times when you guys are both vibing on that level, it's nobody can give nothing to nobody. You guys are not feeding each other any, in any type of way in this, rela in this relationship. Friendship, relationships, all the, anything, any friendship, any type of um, inner, inner human communication you have with somebody else are... Yeah, any type of friendship or any of that, those are relationships, you know, not just um, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife relationship. I'm talking about relationships we have with individuals in our lives. That's what I mean by relationships. So those relationships don't serve each other. When you're vibrating low, you guys have nothing to give and you have nothing to get out of each other. I can't tell you anything of any benefit and you can't tell me anything of any benefit. So what's the use of it? This relationship is is not serving. It's not serving to anybody. It's it's only it's not even serving ourselves. It's self sabotaging ourselves because we're not going anywhere. That's why I say watch who you hang around and your vibe attracts your tribe. And you can be on the other end of the spectrum, on the flip side, as to where you guys are both vibing with each other. You guys are both on a higher frequency. You guys are feeding each other. You guys are feeding off of each other. They give you good advice, you give them good advice. They check you when you need to be checked. You check them when they need to be checked. It's a congruent relationship. It works. It's even. It's, it's mutual is what I mean to say. The, the relationship is mutual. It's a good friendship. You guys are thriving. You guys are growing with each other. Everybody is elevating in some way and they're doing their job. Everybody's position in groups are different as well too, but we'll get into that a little later. But when you guys are all on the same frequency, as far as we know where we want to go, we know we want to get out of this life. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's push each other. Let's pick each other up. Let's not tear each other down. Let's not hate on what we gave up on. Let's not hate on on what we gave up on. 
Because that's what a lot of so-called friends do. They just hate on what they gave up on. They just tell you what you can't do because they can never see themselves doing it. Watch who you hang around. Your vibe attracts your tribe. What relationships are feeding you? Is it one-sided? Is it two-sided? Is it a self-sabotaging one? One-sided relationships. Certain times you're there just to serve. We're here to serve. We're servants. We're instruments of God. Voicing the message to certain individuals. They need us. They need us more than we need them. And they know that. They offer no value to us. They can do nothing for us. But they know, damn, if I can just get a little, if I can just be by him a little bit and, and maybe pick up some of that radiating energy he has. Maybe I could get on that spectrum too. Maybe I could get on that frequency too. Maybe I could vibe where he's vibing and we could actually see eye to eye and do something together. Let's make something happen. I don't want to just take, 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 because that's a lot of these relationships. They're one sided and you don't realize it because it's relationships with boyfriends and girlfriends. It's relationships with moms and dads. It's relationships with cousins. It's relationships with friends. And you're not they're, they're not serving you. It's one sided. You give, 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 give. Hey, cause I need this. All right. Hey, son, come over. Here. All right. You give, 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 give. But you get nothing in return. And a lot of the times, that's just what it is. It is what it is. It's not what it's not. That's what it's going to be. Sometimes we're here just to serve. But I'm here to tell you guys, don't be afraid to cut certain individuals off. Don't be afraid to cut off those relationships that are no longer serving you and they're depleting you. Some relationships that are not serving you and you're serving them, they actually help you. They actually build you up because you can help somebody climb higher. And you know that they're going to gradually gain because they see you doing it and they know it's possible. But the ones that are not serving you and the ones that are self-sabotaging, cut them off. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Each one, teach one, one hand, wash the other. Pace yourself. Don't race yourself. That's my time. Smash the subscribe button. I love you guys. Peace.